would see each and every one of you this morning, amen, in the house of God. Amen. God has been good. Amen. I trust you had an enjoyable week this week.
the deity of Christ, um, he just goes all the way back and just began to look at Jesus Christ as existing before there was a when or a where. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he just starts his by saying, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Um, and so he starts before creation or humanity right. in describing Christ. Yeah. Then Luke, on the other hand, he gives a genealogy. But as Luke gives a genealogy, he looks at him as the son of man. And so in his genealogy, he goes back um, to Adam, and he, he connects Jesus Christ to all of humanity. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he shares with us uh, uh, the humaneness of Christ, mm -hmm. uh, that he is, in fact, the son of man. But it's here in the Gospel of Matthew, mm, that we see uh, Christ as the King. Amen. And as King, um, God introduces us to Him by sharing with us this genealogy. And verse 1 really gives the summation of it all um, in these first 17 verses that that goes through the chain of his genealogy and links him up from one generation to the next. Yes. Um, we see it uh, summed up in this first verse when he says the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And he then says he's the son of two individuals. Uh, he says the son of David and the son of Abraham. Um, because it's in these two individuals that he captures uh, the essence of who Christ is as the king. Uh, it's, it's in these two, two individuals that, that we get his, his identity. Yes. Um, and, and so he shares with us and he introduces us to Christ as the king. And so uh, I want you to understand that um, the, the king, the king, the king has has come. If you would try to trace back the legal genealogy of Jews today, uh, you would have a great deal of trouble. There, there's there's no ability to to find the legal genealogy of uh, those who've come since, because uh, you'll recall in AD seventy when. Um, the temple was ruined. Uh, those records were lost. Uh, Jesus Christ is the only Jew alive today who can prove his right to the throne of David. Amen. All right. Um, and, and so, my brother and my sister, as we look at uh, um, the, 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 the total sum of Scripture and we began to trace um, this whole idea of a king. I know we have kings today in our age and, and we have the Queen of England and all of that. Um, our president was just in the company of the Queen celebrating um, the, the anniversaries and so forth uh, just not too long ago. Uh, and, and I tell you, when, uh, you, you have to understand that, that uh, in England and, and Great Britain and all that, they really, really uh, yes. pay great tribute to the idea of king and queen and prince and so forth. And many of you all follow that whole uh, scenario with princess die and all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, just people, they just get into it. Well. Um, but my brothers and sisters, uh, when it comes to, when it comes to Israel, when it comes to the lineage of uh, of, of the kingdoms of Israel. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it started out as the people um, had a desire in, in their hearts for, for more. Mm -hmm. um, it, was a, it was an issue of people doing what was right uh, in their own eyes. Uh, during that age and that time of Samuel, uh, they, 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 they were uh, under 
the rule of judges. If there was an issue, if there was a problem, they would take it uh, to the judges and the judges would hear the, the matter and, and bring resolution. God would provide for them judge. Uh, but they came to a place where they requested of Samuel a king. Um, you go back to 1 Samuel chapter 8 and uh, verse 6 through 9 says this, but the thing displeased Samuel when they said, give us a king to judge us. Yeah. So Samuel prayed to the Lord and the Lord said to Samuel, heed the voice of the people and all that they say to you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me. That I should not reign over them. Look, look, look at the people here in their own desire and their own uh, self-will and self-determination. Kind of reminds you uh, of Adam and Eve at the outset. Uh, when they felt like they knew a little bit better than God who had created them. That uh, that they didn't need to follow um, the, the, the instructions from God that they can write their own playbook. Mm. That perhaps somehow or another they would be like little gods. They would come up. Mm. And, and, so, and so they were rejecting God and deciding what they wanted for themselves. Mm. Just out of control. And you look at verse 8 of that 8th chapter of 1 Samuel, according to all the words that they had, have done since the day that I brought them out of Egypt, even to this day, with which they have forsaken me and served other gods, so they are doing to you also. Now therefore heed their voice. However, you shall solemnly forewarn them and show them the behavior of the king who will reign over them. I mean, they were looking around and literally the same thing that gets you and I in trouble oftentimes. Uh, envy got the best of them. I mean, they looked around, they saw other nations and other uh, kingdoms and so forth and territories that were, were governed by kings uh, and, and they said, it looked all right to me. Uh, why we don't have one? Uh, anybody here familiar with the Joneses? <laughs> I mean, you see uh, the Joneses. Your car is in pretty good shape. I mean, it's only about two or three years old, but the Joneses got one. And since they decided that they would get one, I guess I better get me one too. You know anybody like that? Oh. Yeah. Uh, envy got the best of them. And uh, you look down at that 19th verse and over in Samuel. And uh, nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel. And they said, no, but we will have a king over us. That we also may be like all the nations. Notice here. They were not trying to be like God. They wanted to be like the other nations. I mean, they they wanted they wanted to look like uh, yes, what so and so looked like. They wanted to to dress like somebody. I mean, they wanted to just sort of you know walk with the in crowd. My brothers and sisters, that can get you in trouble. Amen. Every single time. When we start looking at other folk and idolizing and envying what they're doing, amen. All right. Because sometimes they may be driving a Bentley, but they got Bentley money. Yeah, say so. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I mean, they, 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 they may be driving a Mercedes, but they got Mercedes money, amen. amen. And you can fool around and get you one of them things, and then, and then something go wrong on it, and you take it down there, and they talk about they want thousands of dollars to fix it, and you're like, huh? I mean, it was easy to get to know, but, but the upkeep sometimes get us in trouble. Mm. I mean, just 
envy uh, cause them. But I want you to watch something because God is still at work. I mean, they're, they they feel like they're calling the shots. I mean, they big ballers, shot callers, and all of that. They feel like they lied and in charge. Mm -hmm. But I want you to watch something. I want you to keep your eye on God. Yes, sir. In the midst of this, I, I want you to see what, what God does in the end. Um, they, they feel like, you know, they need uh, a, a vision. They need leadership. And... Uh, and, and so and so they say uh, not only they want to be like all the other nations but uh, that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles they didn't realize that while they're asking for a new vision and leadership and all of that that they already had somebody who led them out of Egypt can I get a witness? Uh, they, they, they already had somebody who was watching over them by day and by night. Yes, yes uh, they had somebody, amen, uh, who would feed them uh, manna from heaven. Oh, yes, they, they had somebody with a pillar of cloud. Mm -hmm. I know you read your Bible. Oh, yes, yes. yes uh, they had somebody. Yes, uh, who was doing what they were asking for, but because their eyes had gotten cloudy and, and, and they began, uh, yes, uh, to, to start to move in their own direction, uh, right. yes, uh, they started to dance from the beat of their own drums, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, and, and so they wanted their own drum mm. My God. Yes, so. Um, as they asked for a king and they got Saul. Saul was a slick fellow. I mean, he felt like he was slicker than God. I mean, he felt like he could just pull the wool over God's eyes. God gave him one set of instructions. He went and did another thing. And, and then uh, as he would go out and do his own thing, and, 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 and he comes back, and God instructed him to, to get rid of everything. Mm -hmm. But when he comes back, there's, there's this, this bleeding noise. There, there's the sound of, of sheep in the air. As, as, as God questioned him to, to what's going on, uh, he feel like that he is smarter than God. Have you ever met anybody that feel like they just, you know, smarter than everybody in the neighborhood? Well, I mean, not only this neighborhood, but uh, the neighborhood of God. <laughs> I mean, he says, I brought these back so that I can uh, uh, have them as sacrifices and, and I could worship you. And that's where we get uh, that age-old wisdom uh, that says that, 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 that obedience is, is better than sacrifice. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, God says, before you can worship me, uh, yes, uh, and, and Jesus put it best when he says that, that we, we, those who would worship him must worship him in spirit and in Yes, uh, God says that before you can worship me, uh, yes, you got to come correct when you're coming to me. Um, and, so, and so Saul got fired without even knowing he was fired. Um, replacement was already in the wings. And when you think about Israel's history, you don't think about its, its history uh, as being uh, begun with, with Saul. You don't, you don't think about him. He's nowhere to be found in, in the official record. Uh, when you read the text uh, in, in the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, uh, yes, that first verse, he says, uh, the son of David, uh, the son of Abraham. Uh, nowhere will you find Saul's legacy uh, in the text. And you trace the genealogy uh, from verse 2 on down to verse 16. Uh, yes. Uh, and, and you won't find uh, you won't find Saul's name in the legacy. Because God 
Father says, I gave you what you want. But now step back and watch me work. He says, he says I, I gave you the king that you asked for and he got fat. But now I'm getting ready to show you something. Uh, come here, David. Uh, yes. Uh, he, when he sends Samuel out to find the king that he will appoint, that he will choose to be the king over Israel, he, he, he finds the individual who is, who is not on the most likely to succeed list in the yearbook. I mean, when, when they go out uh, and they got the mantle of oil to, to anoint the new king and, 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 and he tells them that it would be one of Jesse's boys uh, and they bring all the, the big ones, you know, or the oldest ones, uh, yes, the strong and muscular ones, uh, yes, uh, and, and they hold the, the mantle over the head uh, but the oil does not flow. And I go, they go through step by step through each one of them, and the oil, it just won't flow. And they realize it's not God's will to anoint any one of these boys. They heard God clearly say that it would be one of his boys, and so they asked this question, uh, do you have any more sons? And they go... And they get David out of the field, just a ruddy boy, one of the boys who are keeping the sheep in the field, not somebody that you would look at as a likely candidate for kingship. They go get him, they bring him forward, and he stands there, and they hold it over his head, and the oil begins to flow. I want you to catch this, write it down, take it home with you, It'll bless you. Life is not based on the obvious. Because sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we are looking for the most obvious uh, individual. We're looking for the most obvious path to take. We're looking for the most obvious choices uh, to make in life. Uh, but, but my brothers and sisters, we all pause and pray and see where the oil flows in our life before we take that step, before we make that decision, before we move forward in our life. We all make sure that God's in it. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. May look right in our own eyes, uh, but 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 until God gives the green light, before until God gives the go ahead, yes, sir. we all not do it. Amen. And so he begins this genealogy with David and Abraham. And there's this connection that he he shares with us. This this connection. We, we hinted at it on last week. But there is this connection that, that he shares with, with Abraham uh, and, and, with, and with David. Um, because their original request was, 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 was out of human nature. Mm -hmm. But what God was about to do was from on high. So he shares with them, he says, I'm going to give you a king, but the king that I give you is a king uh, that will ultimately change your life. Catch this. Um, Romans chapter 1, verse 1 through 4. Paul, a bondservant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated to the gospel of God, which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was born of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Now, you, we, see the, we see the lineage. There's a reason why Matthew goes all the way back to Abraham. Uh, it's because there, there is this spiritual connection that God has with these two individuals. God gives two covenants. God gives a covenant to uh, Abraham, and he gives a covenant likewise uh, to David. 
We call them the Abrahamic covenant and the Davidic covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. and in, Gen in Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, we have the Abrahamic covenant when he says, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Yes, yes. And that covenant still remains that he shares with Israel. That covenant is extended through Jesus Christ. And then he has uh, the Davidic covenant. And in the Davidic covenant in 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 12 through 16. He says when your days are fulfilled and you, and you rest with your fathers I will set up your seed after you. Who will come from your body and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commits iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the blows of the son of men. But my mercy shall not depart from him as I took it from Saul, whom I removed from before you. And your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne shall be established forever. And that's uh, the Davidic covenant. Mm -hmm. And he shares these two covenants. The, the covenant that he shares with Abraham provides a sense of relationship. Catch this. And when we think about Abraham, we think about Abraham as being the father of the faithful. Yeah, yeah. The Davidic covenant is a covenant that establishes uh, a Davidic kingdom from here on out. That, that one of David's offsprings will be the king of Israel for days to come. And it's a, it's a position of reigning over the people. And I, I want you to catch this connection because it's in the Abrahamic covenant that we by faith can believe in God and have a relationship even unto this day. And we can claim Abraham as our father because we have been grafted in. I hope you stay with me today. Yes, yes. Yes. I, and so through that relationship, uh, we now can claim God as our father. That middle wall of partition has been torn down. Uh, yes. Uh, and that covenant now extends to you and me. Yes. All right. That's the relationship. Yes. But then it's through David uh, that we have a king uh, who would come from David. Uh, yes. Uh, who would be a king who would reign forevermore. And that king that would ultimately come from David uh, and be the king forevermore is yes. the last than Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, yes, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Yes, sir. And since him, there has been no other to come after him because he sat all in stone when he came and showed up. Yes. You see, they asked for an earthly king, but God was ultimately providing for them a heavenly king. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I, I, I want you. I want you to catch this. I want you to catch this. I want you to catch this. See, uh, God, when God shares in revelations, uh, and He He said, and, and and He says through Jesus Christ uh, that I am the root and the offspring of David. Um, he, what he is ultimately saying here is that that I am the one who provided for Abraham to be here in the first place. But then at the same time, I, 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 will, I will come as an offspring from David. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. What kind of God uh, is he that? And I mean, nobody else can do nothing like that. Uh, I mean, create David and then come from David. Uh, yes. Uh, and that's why uh, we have the virgin birth. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, he has Mary as his mother, but God as his father. Uh, yes, he's no ordinary man. Yes, uh, my, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, uh, that's why John can describe him, uh, yes, uh, as the creator of the heavens and the earth, uh, yes, uh, and that's why when they got into the argument we discussed on last week, uh, yes, uh, and then they were talking to Jesus like they, they knew something that he didn't know, uh, but he ultimately revealed to them that he knew all things. He says, uh, yes, yes uh, before Abraham was, I am. Yeah. All right. Thank you. He, he can talk 
like that because he he's no ordinary man. Uh, yes, uh, I, I want you to know the king has come, and, and, and that's why in the title of, of this message, uh, yes, we use the definite article, uh, yes, uh, be, the king has come. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, the king, uh, yes. Yes, not a king, uh, yes. yes, not one among many, uh, yes, uh, but the definite article, the king has come. Yes, the one whom uh, all of humanity has been waiting on uh, has come. Yes, uh, the one who has changed our life from beginning to end uh, has come. The one who made us and know all about us, he has come. Yes, sir. yes my, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, God has sent Jesus Christ uh, as, as king of all humanity. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, not only to give us a relationship with him, uh, but to reign uh, over us. Uh, yes, uh, and to reign with us. Uh, right. If we can allow him to reign over us, uh, he'll allow us to reign with him. Amen. Let me see if I can unpack that. Yes, uh, my, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, God uh, will not only embrace those who come to him in faith uh, through the Abrahamic seed, through the example of Abraham uh, who came and believed God by faith. Yes, Lord. But God also will reign over the people of God who come to him in faith. Yes, yes uh, he established a relationship then. He, he says, I am king. Yes, uh, I, I, I'm king. Yes, uh, you don't, don't need to apply for the position anymore. Uh, yes, uh, the office is already taken. Uh, yes, I am king. Yes, uh, God is not only our Savior, but he is our Lord. Yes, uh, I, I want you to catch that because uh, my brothers and sisters in this day and age in which we live, yes, folk don't mind Jesus being their Savior. Yes, uh, but well, some folk would take issue with him being their Lord. Can I get a witness? Yes, uh, there, there are some folk, uh, yes, uh, who don't mind uh, saying that he picked me up uh, out of the muck and the mire. Uh, yes, uh, but, but they have issue when he says go and sin no more. Can I get a witness? Yes, uh, yes, some, some folk don't mind. Uh, yes, uh, when, when saying he, he put food on my table and clothes uh, on my back. Uh, yes, uh, but, but they got issue when he says, uh, Yes, uh, straight is the way. Yeah. And now, can I get in this uh, Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, when God says uh, that I am the king. Yes, you all quit crying for the position. Uh, yes, uh, he says, I am Lord. Uh, yes, uh, I am the one who reigns uh, for our own eternity. Uh, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. It's me. Yes, I, I am the one with the distinctive nature of kingship like none other. Yes, uh, God extends his, his kingdom uh, on earth as it is in heaven. Uh -huh. You do remember the model prayer, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, as it was taught by Jesus, uh, we often call it the Lord's Prayer, but it's really the model prayer. He gives them an example in answer to that question uh, when they said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Yes, uh, and he went on and he taught them how to pray. And, and right in there, he said, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, how many of us really want to seek his will? Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. how many of us really want to be like him? Yeah. Yes, uh, I mean, when the text says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, how, how many of us are saying, Sign me up? For the Christian Jubilee. Uh, write my name on the road. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters. Uh, yes, God uh, wants to be Lord of our life. God wants to be captain of our ship. God wants to be pilot of our place. Yes, God did not come from heaven down to take suggestions. Amen. Uh, God did not come from heaven down. Uh, yes, uh, to, to give us a, a suggestion box where we can tell him what we want and what we want him to improve on. Uh, 
Yes, I, I got a survey. I got a survey from uh, 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 Sam's Club, uh, big box store uh, that got a lot of stuff in it. Uh, yes, you can get most of the stuff you want in one trip. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, and, and 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 they started changing stuff. Yes, uh, yes and they sent me a survey. Uh, and so when they sent me a survey, I just told them what I thought. Uh, yes, uh, I said you need to stop changing stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, you got products that I like to buy, and you take them off the shelf. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, and, and, and lo and behold, uh, yes, uh, we walked in the store uh, and, and there was the product that they had removed off the shelf uh, and it was back on the shelf. Uh, yes. Uh, stores like to take suggestion boxes. Uh, yes. Uh, but I want you to know God allow us uh, to fall down on our knees in prayer. Uh, yes. God allow us uh, yes, to call on him uh, in the midnight hour. Uh, Him. Remember to say like Jesus, not my will, but thy will be done. When you come to him, yes, know that God, yes, can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask for a thing. But remember, amen, that God is still in control. Can I get a witness in here? Yes, the reason why God says that I'll give you the desires of your heart is because we got close to him.
Said, drink ye all of it, for this is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth this fruit of the vine, until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Oh, it was a 